In this Databytes episode, we're going to look at two very popular New Relic features that are now available to developers right in their IDE. New Relic's IDE extension, CodeStream, has just launched Log Search and Query Builder, and I'll give you a look at both of these new features. For those of you not familiar with it, CodeStream is an extension available for today's popular IDEs, including VS Code, Visual Studio, and the suite of JetBrains IDEs. New Relic's goal with CodeStream is to bring observability into the daily practice of software developers, allowing them to identify, investigate, and resolve performance issues much earlier and much more quickly, or even prevent them from happening in the first place. For those of you that have tried CodeStream in the past, I want to point out that we now have unified identity with New Relic. You can now sign into CodeStream using the same credentials as you would New Relic on the web. And once you do, you're in the exact same organization with access to the same performance data. Now let's jump into the demo. We're looking at the CodeStream extension for VS Code, and you'll notice right away that the performance data you see is contextual to the code I have open in my editor. I have the Telco Microservices repo open, and I can see that it's associated with a handful of services on the Relic, and I can expand any of them to see how they're performing. You can see we've got a ton of information available to you, but today we're going to focus on the two new features. First up is Log Search. Just click at the View Logs entry for any service, and by default, you'll see recent log output for that service. I should note right off the bat that Log Search is currently available for logs ingested by one of the New Relic APM agents, as well as the OTEL integration. In the results, you can click on any entry to see the details, hover, hover over any one of them to easily copy the value. Of course, you can drill down with your search. Let's say you're investigating a customer issue and you think it happened right around this time. You can hover and click show surrounding and that'll pin that particular uh, search result and it will show you the log entries that come after it and those that precede it so you can see that entry in the context of the rest of the log file. So you can really jump right into your investigation without having to leave your IDE. Now one of the cool things we can do because we're in the IDE connected to the code is we can give you a different entry point into the log search experience. So say you've got a customer uh, experiencing an error validating a coupon in your e-commerce service. You know that it's generated from this uh, log line. You can come here, highlight that error message, click find in logs from the context menu and jump straight into your search. Or even easier, you don't even need to highlight the code. Just right click, select find in logs, and CodeStream will extract that string from the log line and do the search for you. Now, the last place uh, you can enter the logs experience from is from our icon here in the CodeStream global navigation. It'll default the service selection to whatever service you have expanded in the CodeStream pane, but you can, of course, change that. And this is right next to the icon for the next feature that I want to show you, which is the query builder. So New Relic has a trove of performance data about the services in your estate, and all of that is accessible to you via the Query Builder. And just like the Query Builder on the web, you have nice autocomplete and you can query to your heart's content. There you go. Query results right in your IDE. You can change whichever visualization uh, you want, whatever is more appropriate for you. Uh, you can even export to either JSON or CSV, and that'll open up in another uh, buffer right inside your editor. Uh, you have all the recent queries generated either from within CodeStream or on your Relic on the web accessible to you. Uh, but one of the things we're really excited about is the concept of a Nurkle file. So you can create a file, paste in all of your queries, uh, and it's a great way to save your queries that you frequently use, but also a great way to share them with your teammates. So you can commit and push this uh, file to your repo and everybody on the team will have access to them. And you can see that you can run these queries directly from the Nurkle file. So all the power of New Relic available right inside your IDE. Uh, I hope you like these two features. Uh, as always, your feedback is encouraged and welcome. And thanks for watching.